Good morning everybody, I'm Steve and this is Greenside Up. Today I'm getting some more plants in in this large tunnel. I've got these here, these are some pak choi. These are all going in this bed here. There is still beans growing in there, but they'll be out in a week or so. Uh, but for the time being, I'm going to fill this space just to cover it and get these off and growing. Um, you know, these will be of a reasonable eating size while the others are still catching up. But eventually this whole bed will be full of these. I have another... Uh, another 30 plus of each colour in there so I'm just going to plant a few rows in here uh, and that's the first job for today. <laughs> right with this bed I've already broadcast a handful of blood fish and bone on there and just raked it in lightly to the top layer. I don't need to put as much feed down as I do in the summer. I mean you'll have seen me in the summer putting a handful of blood fish and bone for each plant but they're longer lived plants. Um, these for instance these will be eaten by Christmas so in a couple of months time they don't need a great amount of feed so I just broadcast it in and rake it in and I'm just going to plant these start again with them That's a bit better, the spacing was rubbish on them. So I say these are pak choy, and they only grow about this sort of height. And we will eat two plants at a time for a meal, uh, you know, over the winter. And we do like it with some sort of an onion, if you can chop it up. I go half and half with either leek, onions, shallots. It's just wonderful, and then you just stir fry it. Doesn't need very, doesn't need to cook for very long. It just needs really to wilt, wilt them. I say I will have a massive bed of this because we love it. And again, it's winter winter growing you will lose plants it's just it's just the way it is you know you, you, you tend to lose plants over winter so I expect to lose a few but well, the rest will eat so it's just these couple of rows I'm going to get in I might see if I can squeeze some somewhere else, squeeze some in somewhere else in the tunnel here. But I've got to be mindful, there's still other crops that are at seed stage at the minute, which I am going to need space for as well. Things like rockets and more salad stuffs. So there we go, that's, that's a couple of rows of those planted. Winter's just around the corner now, so it's all haste to get things done. So we'll get on with some more plants. I'm going to get my lettuce in this bed behind us now, so that's the next job. So next up is this lettuce, and I have a few types here. The first one is an oak leaf. And these are going to be planted in rows quite close together really because I will be picking the actual leaves as they grow so they shouldn't get too too big in here so whether I can get them out now oh, there's one it fell out there we go I might be jumping the gun a bit on these, they might be might be a little too early to plant these out. There is some root but not a lot. Anyway, we'll crack on with it anyway. So yeah, this is a red oak leaf, lovely frilly lettuce. So 
So that's that's really all I need from that at the moment. But I'll hopefully find the space for those later on. Might try them outside. And then this next one is a lettuce that's new to me. This is Marvel of Four Seasons. Never grown this before. I know a lot of people do grow it and it comes quite highly recommended. But the trouble with, with growing things is you, you set off and you grow what you want to grow and you find out later what might be a better variety. But because you're used to a particular variety and it works for you, you don't change, you, don't, you never try it. And I think that's what's happened with this. I've often seen it and thought, nah. I'll stick with me winter density. I know where I am with that. And that's pretty much what's happened. And there we go, that's that. So I'll get those other three varieties in there. And uh, that's lettuce planted. Catching up with you, Tony. <laughs> There we go, you're still ahead lad. And over here in this bare patch of land in the corner there, just beyond the carrot forest, <laughs> um, I'm going to be planting some chard. Um, hopefully I can get through there. I have got uh, one of those gherkin knives to chop the foliage down if I need to. But um, <laughs> we'll get in the corner there and plant some chard. Difficult to film in there so I won't film this but uh, that's where it's going. These are the three trays of seeds that I sowed, um, getting on for a week ago now, and they were covered, I videoed it, and they were my seven seeds for September video. And I, would, I said I was going to take the three, three trays home, put them on the kitchen floor, and just wait, leave them there for a couple of days. All I was wanting to do was just warm the compost up slightly to, to more like a house temperature, more like a propagating temperature. Didn't really need to do that, but I did it nonetheless anyway. And I brought them back yesterday because in the middle of it there, you can see the rocket is going for it. And uh, so they're only home for two to three days. But I've got signs of life on all of them now. I've got lettuce starting there and their beet roots and the spring onions are coming. Uh, it won't be long before the couple of types of parsley are coming through. So that's worked as far as I'm concerned. And it's done exactly what I wanted it to do just to give, give them a boost and get them started. And that was it really. So I've got a few of these lessons left now on the hanging shelf here. And as I say, I may use them somewhere else. We'll see. I'm gonna be doing some more planting in the next couple of days. So we'll see what's left. Here's the original tray that they came from. So I've got the option of potting on some more. It's just compost and throwing them in. So we'll see and there's also some chard here now if none of these actually get planted out what i will do is pot them on because if any of these lettuce is underneath now that they're all planted out if any of these die off in the next week or so i'll replace them so for now this lot up here are spares and there we go i'll just quickly show you just beyond the carrot forest there I planted some chard in there, so there's, there's half a dozen in there. And I swing round back to the lettuce, and there's the pak choy. And there's the massa beans that are yet to come out. When they come out, I'll have pak choy filling that bed. So that's it for today. That's most of the polytunnel absolutely planted out now. Uh, the only space I've yet to plant is where those beans are. Uh, they'll be out very soon. And I can start thinking of other jobs to be done on the air. So, hope you've enjoyed that. Please stay safe everyone, look after yourselves, and I'll see you in a day or two. Take care now, ta-ra.